Hello everyone, today's lesson is lesson 89, subtracting two-digit numbers, part one. So yesterday we practiced subtracting two-digit numbers using dimes and pennies, okay? So here I have this problem. Jamel had 52 cents. She had only dimes and pennies. She spent 35 cents at lunch. How much money does she have left? This story is a sum, some went away story. Okay, so to begin with, she has 52 cents and then she spends 35 cents. So we're gonna show this with my dimes and pennies. Do I have enough pennies to take five away? No, I don't. So I need to trade one dime for 10 pennies. Okay, so now I have enough pennies to subtract the five pennies from. So let's take away five pennies. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to take away three dimes. One, two, three. How much money does she have left? Well, I have one dime and seven pennies. So that's 17 cents. So I'm going to show you how to do that without using dimes and pennies. So I have 52 cents minus 35 cents. This problem tells us that we have 52 and we're taking away 35 cents. Make sure the pennies are lined up in the pennies column and the dimes are lined up in the dimes column. Okay. So I don't have enough pennies to subtract. So I need to trade one dime for 10 pennies. We show that by crossing off the five and writing a four above the five to show that I've borrowed a dime. Then I put a small one in front of the two to show that I now have 12 pennies. Okay, then I go 12 minus five, which is seven, and four minus three is one. So I end up with 17 cents. Okay, let's try another problem. This says Steve had 61 cents. He had only dimes and pennies. He spent 43 cents at the school store. How much money does he have left? Well, this is a sum, some went away story. So he starts with 61 cents, which I show here. Do I have enough pennies to take away 43 cents? Or the three, cent, the three pennies? No, I don't. So I need to trade one dime for 10 pennies. Right. Now I have enough pennies to take it away. So I'm gonna take away three pennies. One, two, three. And now I'm gonna take away four dimes. One, two, three, four. So what do I have left? Well, I have one dime and eight pennies. So my answer is 18 cents. If I want to write a number sentence for this, I would write 61 cents minus 43 cents equals 18 cents. To write this without using our money, I would write 61 cents minus 43 cents. Okay, so first thing I do is I try to subtract my pennies, but I don't have enough. So I'm going to borrow a dime, so put, cross off the six and put a five above it, and then add 10 pennies by putting a little one in front of my one penny. So now I have 11 minus three. So 11 pennies minus three pennies is eight pennies, and five dimes minus four dimes is one dime. So I end up with 18 cents. Okay. And that's how we subtract whole numbers. Part one. <laughs> and that's it for this lesson. Good luck on your homework.